Yo, what's going on guys? Spyro64 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a free, um, screen recording device for your, um, computer, or I think it looks on, works on laptops, so you can test that out. Um, yeah, pretty much. I didn't get any suggestions for this, I just wanted to try it out, let you guys know, because you don't have to pay money for, like, a screencast nomadic it has, like, the same quality as screencast and it's completely free so I want to buy anything until like you get a good amount of subscribers on YouTube or whatever you're using this for I want to get anything like really professional and buy anything before you just use this to test I, this is what I use it's what I use a lot actually and that's what you're seeing in recording progress right now alright guys what you're gonna want to do first is download OBS and I use OBS classic I'll show you what that means in a second so just go to your desired web browser, I'm using Chrome, um, just look up OBS, OBS, and it should be the first result. So you just want to click this, it will show you OBS Studio, now this is what you don't want unless you um, don't have an editing software, because I believe OBS Studio is uh, helps you edit, it also records, so you can test that out. It's a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming. Uh, you can download and start streaming quickly and easily on Windows, Mac, or Linux, whatever that is. I just read that right here, so, yeah. Alright, anyway, what you want to do is click this download up here, and it'll bring you to this page. Now, if you click download installer, that will install OBS Studio, and you're not going to want that, so just scroll down until you see OBS Classic. And you want to click download installer and it should start downloading. I'm not going to download it because I already have it. But uh, you know what? I can just do it. Whatever. Click download installer. I'll download this with an exe. I'll show you in a second. Alright guys. When it's done loading. As you can see mine is. You're going to take it and drag it to your desktop. And it should look like that. What you want to do next is you can minimize that if you want. You can double click this. And it's gonna say, do you want this to allow to make change? Do you want to allow this to make changes to your device? You're gonna want to click yes. I'm gonna click X because I already have it. But you're gonna want to click yes and then finish the installer. Okay, so once you have OBS, it's gonna look like this on your desktop. So you just want to click it and open it, and it should pop up like this. Um, I think mine's at the lowest size. You can raise it. I'm not going to do that because it's going to get pretty trippy, as you can see, because I'm recording the recording within the recording software. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay, so first thing you want to do, is you're going to see everything is completely blank. So over here where it says scenes, you're just going to right click, click add scene, name your scene if you want, and there you go, you have a scene. So there's a few different options here. You want to right click on this sources box. Just right click the white. Click add. And then there's these few options. There's a window capture, monitor capture, image, image slideshow, text, video capture device, and game capture. Now, I'm pretty sure, I don't know what video capture device does, but game capture is for capturing games. Monitor capture is for capturing your monitor. Window capture, I believe, just captures certain windows. So if you like wanted to only record um, uh, Google or Google Chrome or something, then you're going to want to click window capture and then it'll black out everything but that window. I personally suggest monitor capture has the least lag. Even if you're doing a game, usually hitting F11 will make the game full screen so that the monitor capture will work for that. So you just want to click it. You can name it if you want. I'm just going to name it monitor capture. And then it will open this window. Okay guys, when this window is open, you're going to want to click this. It says monitor 1. If you have multiple monitors set up to your desktop, then that will be the thing that you're going to change it with. Like which monitor you're recording with. Um, just leave it on 1 if you just have one monitor, obviously. Um, next up here is capture mouse cursor. If you turn that off, you won't see the mouse like on the screen. But you, you can still see it, but the recording won't um, capture the mouse. I suggest leaving that on, it seems to prevent lag for me. If you have a better computer, then you can probably turn that off if you need to. But I would leave it on, it's not that big of a deal usually. 
Like if you're recording Minecraft, the mouse doesn't appear on the screen unless you're in the pause menu anyway. And I don't mind having that. Alright, this next slide says gamma, you don't you're not gonna wanna click that. This says use point filtering, you're not gonna wanna mess with that. Opacity, you're not gonna wanna mess with that. Well I think this might be the opacity of the mouse, but I wanna still mess with that. Subregion, don't touch anything. Color key, don't really mess with anything. And then you can click OK. Alright guys, so once that's done, you're gonna wanna write you wanna click on your monitor capture and click settings. I wanna do it over here just so I can show you. Monitor capture settings, and then I'll show you this. The first one is general, don't I wouldn't mess with anything on here. Setting profile, I'm not sure what that does. English, you can obviously select your language. But you're gonna wanna go into encoding next. Um, I suggest using the settings I have up here, just copy the settings. Quality balance I have on 10. Max vibrate I have on 10,000. Use custom buffer size. Check that box. Buffer size zero. Um, codec AAC format 48H or 48KHZ. Sorry, channel stereo or mono. I believe that um, is because I have a um. Well, obviously, mono and stereo sound thing. I think that's for sound, yes, in audio recording. And vibrate is that. So, I believe the audio recording should stay the same. Everything on this page will probably stay the same. I don't really remember. But the important one is going to be broadcast settings. This is going to be pretty important. So, you can find your file. You want to go to mode, file output only. Um, you can also do live stream if you need to. File path, you're going to want to hit... Well, wherever you want your file path to be I have mine set as my desktop so that I can just easily find it I believe all the rest will stay the same on this page if not you can check just comparing yours to my video and checking to see if everything's fine I guess all right next is gonna be video and audio I'll show both of those in the same segment here uh, video based resolution I think you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is find the resolution for your monitor if you can't find that then I would suggest just using um, this resolution that I have, have up here is 1600 900 aspect ratio 169 that's like the universal one you can do monitor if you want but I just would leave it on custom resolution downscale 1.25 1280 by 720 filter fastest is what I have mine on that way it's just quickly does the video you can mess with all these settings like accordingly to you fps i have 30 i don't think youtube accepts 60 frame per frames per second yet but if when they do i would suggest bumping that up to 60 but i don't think they'll accept anything past 30 as of now when you go over to audio it's gonna say desktop audio device you can go default default i use my usb chat headset for the audio like what I'm doing right now. When it's plugged in, it usually automatically does that. Desktop audio device. I want I would keep this default because this is the desktop audio, so like in-game audio and stuff, that's what it's gonna be picking up. Audio slash auxiliary audio device. This is where you're it, like if you have a mic or something, this is where you'd want to hook it up. Just plug it into your computer and when you click this, it'll usually detect it. If not, make sure to plug it in before opening OBS. It should do that. If you do disable, I don't think you'll have any voice. Default should come out of your computer. And these are um, different things. I don't know where those are for. But I have a USB ha chat headset, so that's what mine is right now. These settings down here are probably going to be the same as they were when you opened OBS. So I wouldn't mess with these. If they are different, mine's 200 push to talk, delay. Um, I would actually put that on zero because that's 200 milliseconds. So what it means is when you click the thing after 200 milliseconds, then it'll start like the voice recording. So it'll start the recording and then it'll do the voice recording after 200 milliseconds. So I leave that on 200 because usually before I start my videos, I say like one, two, three, go, and then I start talking just so I can set it up in my editing software easier. But you can leave that on zero if you want. Desktop boost and mic slash aux boost is both on one. 
mic sync offset is on 150 milliseconds so that means basically that means um when the video is recording 150 milliseconds later i think that's just like one second i think that's the offset i would have that at 150 it seems to work fine for me you can try to turn it down to zero if you want this thing is completely customizable of course so you can try whatever you want but really this page is just setting up uh your audio all right moving on to the hotkeys tab and audio you're not gonna want push to talk you could have push to talk i don't suggest it push to talk basically means like whatever button you're holding down you have to be holding that down for it to pick up audio so i don't personally like holding any buttons down so i just keep that off but if you for some reason prefer only talking when you're holding down a certain button then go right ahead i just like knowing myself i would be talking to the video and completely forget to hold down the button so i don't do that down here where it says broadcast this is where basically you're gonna want most of your um hotkeys so start stream and stop stream are basically if you're streaming start recording and stop recording or for recording and all the other ones you're not really going to want to mess with those are like replay buffers but what i do for recording is use the number lock because i never use the number lock because that's for the number pad on the right and i normally just um use the left keyboard part so if you use num lock the best part is when you click num lock for the start recording uh while you're recording the num lock light is going to be on like you know how caps locks has that little light that lights up on your um computer when you click num lock it also has a light so i like having that on so i know i'm recording when that light is on it's it's kind of like those your live things in um talk show booths so that's kind of cool just i would suggest num lock you can use anything you want f1 is usually a good one um you're just gonna really want to use keys that nothing you're never gonna use so that's why I chose NumLock because I never use it and it seems to work out pretty well. Alright, when you're over in advanced, um, you're not going to really want to mess with much. I don't know how to explain what I did here. You can just really copy the video. I believe general is the same. But you can just copy the video settings in advanced here to get some good quality. This is what I use and it works really well. Quick Sync Encoder is next. Um, don't do anything here. You're not gonna really need any of that. Ni microphone noise gate. This shows, like, right now, this is how loud I'm being, like, how loud I'm talking. So you can kind of see it there. Um, t attack time, I don't, I don't really know what this stuff means. Just, I, I wouldn't mess with this, guys. This is just really showing the preview. I guess if I up to this, it would probably do something, but don't. So for scene switcher, I believe you need a plugin because down here it says plugin is not running. So you're gonna need a plugin for that. You can download plugins, I believe, on the OBS site. So that's kind of cool. You can just click cancel when you're, or you're gonna want to hit OK and save. I'm just gonna click cancel, and that's pretty much how to record your desktop. When you're done recording, just click to stop recording. It'll automatically go to wherever you chose to save it. Um, there's a few other things here, like edit scene is for like if you click here and click edit scene you can crop down the recording like i can zoom in right now or whatever i just did there um i don't know how to fix that there we go so that probably showed up for you it didn't happen on my screen but obviously i showed up for you i'm gonna turn edit scene off that's just so that you can mess with things up there uh global sources are just i don't really know what this does i believe this is for plugins uh, maybe not because the next thing is plugins so this shows all the plugins you have um i haven't downloaded any plugins these are the default ones that you'll have but if you have any plugins you want to come in here and click ok to select them i believe or maybe configure i'm not sure i haven't used plugins personally and that's pretty much it if you want to add like a I add like a picture to every one of your recordings or something i'll show you how to do that right now you just want to click right click add image and okay I click browse and then for example if I wanted my 3d custom head here I can click that hit okay and then as you can see for you guys it popped up in the corner um, then you can just click edit scene to move things around 
I can make it bigger. I can move it down here. I can make it small. I can put it like up here for every one of my videos. And I can turn it, oh shoot, I can turn it off, I can turn it on. I can spam it if I wanted. Um, if you like wanted a watermark but didn't know how to set up watermarks, then that's how you can do it. Just look up how to set a watermark, it's not that hard. If you need a video for that, I can show you, but it'll be like 8 second video. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna delete this image in the side of the screen, because that's probably, probably annoying you guys. There we go. So that's pretty much it. That's how you record your desktop slash laptop slash any other type of computer that isn't existent. Those are the only two types of computers. Anyway, that was a pretty random video. I was just showing you how to record your um, computer screen completely free. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. See you all in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, post-production note. Um... What I noticed when I was looking over the video, I didn't really show how to do this, but over here where it says where this audio thing is, you can click it to mute. This is background audio. I have mine set at 5%. This is how loud you're going to want the audio. Like say I have this set to 100% and then I click over here. Listen how loud this is. It's like overcoming my voice almost, like it's too loud. But if I have this over at 5%, which is the lowest you can get without it instantly undoing, I'll have it at 6% because that's as close as I can get. But when you click it now, as you can see, it's way quieter. I actually have to be quiet for you to hear it, as you can listen. Uh, as you can hear, I meant not as you can listen well. But yeah, that's really the post-production update there. That's how you do that. Set it to 5% if you can. 10% is usually good, it depends what game you have. That's mainly for gameplays if you want background sound. Okay, that's pretty much it. Bye, always wear your seatbelt. Comment if you, if you got that reference, yeah.